All right, here I am, a couple of hours later, because I wasn't able to save my game in the middle of a boss fight. I decided to just leave the game on, render the last episode, and come back to this. So, where do we begin again? I don't even know. Let's start with switching our persona back to Tsitsumital. <laughs> okay, uh, we'll start off with a power charge. I don't know how well physical attacks are going to work here. I should probably analyze to see any resistances. Kasumi no Okami, bring it on. Don't oh. bother using ice. Okay, it just repels everything. Gotcha. No point in using a power charger then. Uh, what are we doing? We're doing wind. It's the only way. We'll get started with that. Garadine, no, let's do a mind charge. With Naoto. Cool. Yukiko, please, can you deliver a lightning breaker for me? All right, Marie's ego is struggling for control. So there's a bit of a delay in activity there. Appreciate that. Uh, ooh, okay, what can I do? Let's do Mzyodine. Probably should get Yukiko on this, but my persona is quite strong. 331 damage, good start. Uh, Garadine, please. And before I attack with Naoto, I might actually give her uh, a Heat Riser. There we are, just to get that extra boost. Yukiko, uh, I need you to use... Let's use Firebreaker as well. Let's break down her defenses. Agaradine. All right, not bad. One of them was blocked as well, which is fantastic. Another one's Iodine, please. We're using everything except for ice. Okay, Yosuke, Garadine. Keep that the same. I might actually get him to use his youthful wind or, or whatever it's called. Okay, time to use Garadine now. Come on, Nato. Hit her with everything you've got. This is all for Marie. 672 damage. Fantastic. Agadine. Okay, we're doing quite well, which is quite disarming, to be honest. What's this do? Uh, okay. Siphoned off some of our SP. Marie's body is breaking. That? Marie-chan's power to absorb the fog is going crazy! Uh-oh. Careful, Senpai. She's sucking up everything! Alright, guys, hold your ground! I feel like I need to stab my sword in it so I can hold on to it, in case I get, you know, sucked in. <laughs> um, let's go for... Uh... I'll flex magic damage once. Okay, okay. That's fine. Stick to lightning. I'm worried. We're almost halfway through this battle. Okay, let's use our youthful wind. I was Let right about the it winds all blow! We might need to do an SP recovery on uh, Naoto at some point. Good to see our evasion up, and some people needed healing anyway. Oh, Garanine again, please. Right, our trinkets and... Oh, mainly our trinkets really are what's causing our SP to basically keep itself afloat. Uh, should we use burning petals? Oh, Yukiko's got a abundance of SP, so I can avoid this, right? 1,000 damage! Alright. Wind and electricity gone. Draining fog again. Alright, so... Is that all you got? What? You get it! The truth doesn't help anything! You're not even hurting us, you're just taking away our abilities to attack you, and it's it's a piss poor job, to be honest. You're all hypocrites! Peace and tranquility lie in the fog! <sighs> Senpai, don't listen to her! That's not the real Marichan talking! I understand that, Rize. She wouldn't say such a narrow minded thing. Okay, uh, we're gonna need another windbreaker, please. This one comes from me. Use it well! Garadine. Good. Nice SP recovery there. Uh, should we use Mind Charge again? Our attack is still up, interestingly enough. I think that's for a regular physical attack, but that can't be done. 638. Burning Piddles. Turn to Scarlet! <laughs> Come on, let's see it. 432. Alright. 
fires back off the table. Ooh, Naoto's gonna be depleted of SP. Yeah, there we are. Marie's body's breaking. It's working! You can do it, Senpai! I'm doing my best, Rizai. Don't let your guard down. She'll get you if you do! Right, well, let's end this fight before she even has a chance to pull a sneaky one on us. Uh, let's go Firebreaker. Good. Let's use Gardine. With Yosuke. 372. That's enough for a Gardine. It's only 12. Alright. You can go. Come on. Finish this. Quickly. Wow. There we are. Is that just phase one done or what? <laughs> I don't know. That was relatively simple, but then again, so was Adachi, right? And then we had to fight giant disco ball straight after. Did we do it? I don't think so, Yosuke. Please don't start panting now. We can't afford to be tired. <laughs> Maybe Marie did a lot of the damage from within. Oh, here we go. Whoa! Whew. Marie. Her mind's been preserved. Run! Oh, what a catch. Not quite a Superman catch, but, uh, well, I caught her in a tight embrace, so there's that. Marie chan! Marie, you can. Ah! Why are you whining? I'm the one who caught her. How is she, Senpai? Is she okay? I don't know. Is she? She must be. Marie? Marie isn't moving. Uh oh. This is not good. No way. This can't be real. <sighs> Here are movies matching Maria. No! This can't be! We- Way to ruin the fucking moment there, Siri. Jesus Christ. Emmy-chan? <sighs> Even my phone was just like, what the hell's going on? Oh dear, Chie and Rize are sobbing already. Come on! You're such a sleepyhead! Come on, Teddy, you know any tricks? It's- Time to wake up, okay? Emmy-chan? Kanji can't even look. No! This isn't happening! What did we do wrong? I don't know, but I feel like we destroyed that fog monster way too quickly. Emmy-chan, wake up! Don't die! Maybe that was the trick we were supposed to hold off on the attack. <laughs> oh god, okay. All right. I was worried. Get off of me! <laughs> you Whoa! Jeez, Diddy! Marie-chan! I was worried I messed up again or something, like I got another bad ending. Oh, God. <sighs> Thank goodness she's alive! She's okay. Kaji, you can look now. <sighs> oh! You're right. I... That's right. You did it. You're the one who did it. Thank you. Well, let's see. Yeah, I was an investigation team, not just not just me. Yeah, you know. I like to think Syria is the one who caused her to wake up. Oh, nice hug. Oh, you're okay. You think that's long enough for a moving hug? Shouldn't you let go now? <laughs> God, Rize policing the affection shown to me. Nope. <laughs> Sorry. I'm tired of moving. Enough with getting up. Good thing there's someone even I can hug. Well, damn. I was gonna say, like, did I just defeat the boss too fast and she needed time to get the fog out of her system or something and that's why I got a bad end and that's why the boss was so susceptible to our attacks, but no, I just think we were overpowered as hell. <laughs> hey! Here we go again. Why is it all our friends are like this? I don't know, Chie. I don't even know why Rize is so concerned. Yukiko's my girlfriend. I'm kind of worried she's not saying anything right now. There's not a hint of jealousy on her. You know, there aren't a lot of people who can really mess with Rize-chan. Is that why Yukiko's standing back? She's like, oh, Rize. No, no, it's okay. You know, it's like a, it's like a wife's boyfriend kind of thing. Yukiko's just like, oh, Rize is my, my boyfriend's girlfriend. <laughs> oh dear. 
We gotta go. Did we gotta you go. feel the earth move? Or was that just me watching these two? This is a moving moment, but not in that way. This isn't the time for stupid comments. What's going on? Sorry, T.A. My bad. Don't tell me. Is this like in the movies where once the bad guy's defeated, his evil fortress self-destructs? No, that's Persona 5, Yosuke. <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot to mention. Oh, yeah, and you're still laughing about it, I don't it, need huh? to be in this place to die anymore, so it's gonna disappear. Oh, okay. When well, you say that so nonchalantly, we should probably gap out of here. Maybe walk at a brisk pace, because Marie's not that concerned. Why the hell didn't you say <laughs> that sooner? It's gonna take us with it! We're gonna die! We're all gonna die! Well, you just left us, so yeah, sure, we are, probably. Just get to the exit! Hurry! We could be yelling and running at the same time, let's go! The sarcophagus is gone. I forgot how tiny the TV here is. Oh god, I forgot. Yeah, the place was collapsing and we all had to get through that in one in one go. Marie's I here though. I feel like this has happened before. Oh, I'm kind of worried for Yosuke, he's rubbing his ass. <laughs> I don't want to know. Are these really your friends? They're all so weird. Uh, some, I mean, depends. If they're doing something embarrassing, I don't know them. If they're, if they got my back, then hell yeah, they're the tightest friends one could ask for. It's your fault to begin with. Whoa, Teddy, that kip up. Honestly, defying gravity, this little bear. Uh. The TV. Shit, we should probably clear out of here before someone sees, and we have to pay for the damages. I didn't earn a single cent in there, you know. That was never a television. The hollow forest has vanished. That's a lie. I got 10,000 yen from the Golden Hand. And what do you mean that was not a television? Because there's no more reason for it to exist. So this TV's purpose was to give access to the hollow forest, huh? Poor TV. We couldn't save it. We did it! So, how does it feel to have your fate changed? <laughs> yeah. Well, it feels weird. After all... I'm alive. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, yeah. That's why we went all the way there and everything. Looks like you've got... You've just gotten repurposed, Marie. Your destiny? Existence. Um... Thank you for saving me. And... I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. I understand what you were going through. And it's okay, you can hug me for longer than a minute. It's only Riza who has a problem with it. To be honest. W what? Why are you looking at me like that? Uh, well... You... You just said sorry, didn't you? <laughs> she did. Very politely. Wow. Looks like she's even been programmed with manners now. Huh? Uh, it's just that you never seemed like the type who would say that. Well, she's human now, Yosuke. I think. Maybe. And so, she's developed the capability of apologizing for her actions. Huh? You, you stupid jerk! Fine, then! Oh, great. Now she's taking it back. Well done, guys. Thank you for pointing it out. You know, when someone does something that you want them to keep doing, you don't point it out and say something about it. You just assume it's normal so they can keep going. Don't bring attention to it! For forget it! I take it back! Well, you're gonna need to hug me for another minute, then, if you want to take that back. Oh, well... We tried. <laughs> Listen to me! Oh, God. And we're all laughing at her. What the hell? What is with you people? You risk yourselves to save me? Yep. That's us. Fools. Actually, I'm the fool. These guys, they have their own monikers. You don't get anything out of it. I don't understand you. Well, it's a bit of an ego boost, to be honest. And the thought of, you know, saving a deity's life, pretty much. It's... Something I could use to probably get a college recommendation, since, you know, I'll be third year next year. <laughs> and yeah, that's what friendship is. Really? Yeah, you don't do things for favors. That's more like a business relationship, you know? Friends, you're there for each other. You don't keep a running tally of who owes who. You just be there for each other, and hopefully the status quo remains the same. Like, you each do the, an equal amount for each other. No one person's carrying the load of a friendship, you know? To be honest, we were hesitant at first. Learning that you were from the other side was kind of confusing. For the record, that was them, not me. I obviously knew who you were because we're in the Velvet Room and we've got a max social link, so I, I was not hesitant whatsoever. I dived right in to save you, girl. But to not save you just because of that? Oh, that's not how we roll. 
We don't pick and choose who we save. I mean, we even had to save Adachi, right? We, we just do it because we have to. Because we're the only ones who can. If we blame things on someone else and look the other way, nothing would change. You were in trouble and we saved you. That's all that counts. I don't understand you at all. Welcome to humanity, Marie, where everything's made up and the points don't matter. If not knowing us bothers you, then you should start getting to know us. <laughs> all of us want you to learn more about this world. Yeah, like Valentine's Day. Yeah, I can only hope that you have human rights because Teddy does not. <laughs> Valentine? Valentine's Day. Yes, it's tomorrow. You can experience it firsthand with someone. <laughs> Pick oh, and choose. So you don't know what that is either. Huh. Why would she know, Reese? <laughs> it's an awesome day when a girl gives chocolate to someone she holds dear. I can just imagine, like, Rize's eyes training on me. Like, I feel like if if I was going out with Rize, this would be, this would make a lot more sense, and just everything would be so much more, like, it would, it would be easier to understand, right? Like, because it seems like Yukiko's just standing on the sidelines, not caring. I mean, I know that's the whole thing of Persona, you know, like, there's plenty of girls you could date and like that have to change multiple scenes depending on who you were with and, and so on. Oh, and I already reserved Senpai. Excuse me? <laughs> oh, God. Whatever. No cheating. Reservation cancelled. Jeez. Rize's gonna end up on Nice Girls, I swear. <laughs> Why, you... Oh, they're that fighting. That was quick. Well, let them get to it. Alright, well, I'm fleeing the scene. I don't want to be booked in for vandalism, okay? We already got arrested once because Yosuke was swinging his sword around like a psychopath in the food court when kids were nearby. Hey, it's clear! What, the snow's gone? Marie, were you responsible for the snow as well? You're right. I need to do all the laundry. Well, that's my waifu, you know. As soon as, as, soon as the weather's clear. Oh, got to do laundry. That's such an adult thing to do. Oh my god. Oh, I can relate. <laughs> my back is killing me. Hey, how about we get some grub? Okay. Sounds good. On you, of course. Oh, stop expecting me to buy you lunch all the time! See, Marie? Chie is taking advantage of Yosuke's wallet. She's done it multiple times now, asking for steak, pop, uh, paying for Teddy's clothes, which were rather expensive, by the way. <laughs> but it's all in good jest. I hope. I think. <laughs> yeah. I'm okay. I'm glad. I'm glad it's also not snowing, because you'd probably be freezing outside. Let's go. Everyone's waiting. Then again, Chie is always showing her legs off in the snow, so what do I know? Let's go. Alright. Welcome back. Is the achievement unlocked? Hmm. Are you still worried? Well, when I gave my body up to the fog, I thought I heard a voice. A voice? Um, what did it say? Humans don't want to know the truth. What they truly desire is a peaceful world filled with fog. Right, of course. The, uh... Something like that, anyway. Monster inside you. What does that mean? Huh? How should I know? You're the one who writes complicated poetry. I thought you'd be able to discern some symbolism from that... from that phrase. But it's a familiar voice. The same voice I heard when you defeated Amino Sigiri and the fog flowed into me. Uh-huh. Wait. Maybe not. I felt like it was my voice. Your true voice? Maybe it's something I said long ago? Hmm. Oh well. The fog is gone. I probably just misheard it. There we go again, just retreating into the fog, not wanting to seek out the truth, just assuming we misheard it. <laughs> hey, excuse me. You missed. <laughs> Scared you, huh? Oh, well, I stood in front of a dachi aiming a gun at me, all right? That was scary. This one, jump change. The weather's nice, there's snow all over. What more do we need? All right, bring it on. Oh, yeah. You ever been in a snowball fight, Marie-chan? Time to make some new memories. This is the official lost winter memory. Hmm. Hey, how are we gonna split the teams? <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, what the? Hey, hey! 
Why? <laughs> Damn, Marie. I'm supposed to throw snow at him. Isn't that right? Yeah, just a bit harder, though. Perfect. Okay, I will bury him. Good. See you later, Yosuke. <laughs> Hold on! You have the eyes of a predator! Well, we saved her. The teams will be women versus men. Now begin. Okay, she's just taking over. All right. Oh, come on! <laughs> what are you... You can... You know you're a guy, right? You're on our team. Retreat! Kanji, Teddy, what the hell, guys? What? Take this! Get him, Marie Child! Oh, oh, oh. Why are you going after me? <laughs> on the bright side, you can use that as an excuse not to pay for lunch. You enjoy the snowball fight. Later that day. Oh, Don't here we go again. Our supreme snowball skills. Well, I do feel a bit sorry for them. <laughs> Where's our revenge? Still, today's hero's gotta be Marie Chan. You go, oh, Snowball my. Queen. <laughs> That's the wrong gender. It's heroine, not hero. <laughs> well, sparkly. Oh. is amazing. And that's why she's allowed to hug me for more than a minute. Yo, can you see anything? <laughs> Steam's covering all the good stuff. Oh. Hey, Kanji, up, up. Don't let me down now. Oh, I don't know, man. He's... Oh, God. Uh, what's up? There they go again. What's up? Oh no. Here's a bad idea. Disgusting creeps. I hate you all. The true boss fight is about to begin. <laughs> oh no. You're back. Oh, I thought I was going to have like a cartoony scene where I just woke in covered in suit and my hair like all <laughs> like fried like in Pokémon whenever Ash got electrocuted by Pikachu. You escorted Marie back to the Velvet Room and returned home. <laughs> I took her back to the Velvet Room after all that. I suppose she doesn't have a place to stay. And, well, I'm glad that I could escort her back to the Velvet Room without her beating me up again. Well, on the bright side, I can finally save and close the game and carry on where I left off. Alright, tomorrow is the 14th. Hopefully we've got a gift lined up for Yukiko. Otherwise, I'm going to need to run to the store real quick in the morning and find something. Or we'll just get the usual cake that we always share. Nanako, do you happen to have anything on hand that I could potentially hand my waifu? Big bro, do you like sweet things? <laughs> no reason. Of course I love sweet things. I have a sweetest tooth, Nanako. It's also why I adore you so much. Uh, Dojima, you seemed pretty busy yesterday and today. Did something happen at the ski slopes? Hmm? What's wrong? You smell a bit burnt. Uh, <laughs> you get struck by lightning or something? Still, you seem pretty happy about whatever it was that happened. Yeah, I mean, I'm somewhat pleased and somewhat concerned that my friends and I suffered a lightning strike, but hopefully we don't need to go to the hospital for that. Anyway, let's go to bed. You're tired from entering the TV. You should return to your room and rest. All right, let's do it. 14th, Valentine's Day. Here we go. Happy for some sappy, cheesy love scenes. February 14th. Today is Valentine's Day. Man, I look pale. I just realized you received one text messages. You're coming to school today, right? I want to talk to you and stuff, so I'd like to walk home with you. Spend time with Yukiko? Let's do it. Even though it is a school day, you decided to spend the afternoon with Yukiko. Let's see how the afternoon plays out. Well, there's Yo. still snow around. It hasn't quite cleared up just yet. Yo, so... Things were tough yesterday. I never thought I'd get zapped by lightning in real life. Thanks to that shock or whatever. I totally forgot what today was. It's February 14th, you know. I do know, Yosuke. I do have a girlfriend. It does matter to me. <laughs> I didn't have much time to prepare myself for this, so I've been nervous all morning. Oh, someone please help me do something about all this pressure. Why are you feeling so much pressure for? Who are you? Uh, who's your Valentine, Yosuke? It's not Teddy, is it? Believe in yourself. <laughs> I used to, back when I lived in the city. But it's been nothing but betrayal ever since. 
Oh man, if I end up just getting friend chocolates, and those only from Teddy, <laughs> I knew it. I'll never live it down. Yep, at least you'll only have to hear about it for a month before I go home. Hey everyone, they posted the test results. Okay. Ugh, the awful moment of truth. Oh well, wanna check it out? Sure. There's nothing more romantic than checking my test results with my girlfriend. You decided to check the test results. Especially since we're both academic. Alright, how'd I do? I better be at the top of the class. Yukiko's not even here, damn it. Let's see. Your score was in the top ten. Wow, nice. Good going, so. You're so smart. Yeah, well, it's kind of a requirement to get a good girlfriend. <laughs> your social link friends seem to be congratulating you. You feel that you became slightly closer to your school friends. Lunch break is almost over. You decided to return to class. Okay, after school. More male students have stayed after school than usual. What are they waiting? It's like a lineup. <laughs> They're waiting for the girls to come pick them up. Well, what should I do now? I'm going to hang out here for a bit longer, but... I don't know what to do. <laughs> well, I don't like there's anything for me to do at home anyway. Oh, I got it. I'll go up to the roof or something. Damn, nervous male student was so nervous his balls dropped him at sentence. I'm, I'm gonna be behind the school building. You know, just because. All of these guys, my goodness. It's like they're all parched. Definitely thirsty. <laughs> Most of the girls are already gone. <laughs> what, and they didn't take you along, Yosuke? Shame on them. They don't know what hey. they're missing out on. Man, all these guys are obsessed with chocolate. I mean, I love chocolate. I wish it didn't just happen, happen on Valentine's Day, though. They want candy so much, why don't they just buy some themselves? Because it's not the same, Kanji. I mean, it's like buying yourself a Christmas present. Sure, some people do it, but there's no magic with it. <laughs> are you serious? This is the one day you shouldn't be buying chocolate for yourself. Yeah, Kanji. Don't you have someone you want to give the chocolate to? <clears throat> <No>, so... <clears throat> yeah? <laughs> Man, you're clueless. Whatever. I know I'm getting some for sure today. Oh, damn. Well, he's confident. I'll give him that. I didn't bring you any. <laughs> I'm not that pathetic. Come on, man. Yeah, well, Teddy gave you some. Jeez, you're not gonna accept any from me? Your partner? I can get quite a lot. From part-time workers at Juness. Oh, that's a bit of a power dynamic, isn't it, Yosuke? You're their boss. Or the boss of the manager, right? The important thing is that I have any at all. Okay, all right. Is it Ferrero Rocher? A cream egg? Right, Chie-san? Yukiko-san? That uh, Yukiko's giving me chocolates, thank you very much. I see you've got some big bags with you today. Chie's more likely to give you a big slab of meat <laughs> instead. Wow, that's not the sound of desperation or anything. <laughs> yeah, I do have some. Right, Yukiko? Ooh, who are you gonna give it to? Oh, yeah. Oh, sweet. I like candy. These guys. What makes you think it's going to you? It might be for me. What makes you guys think it's for both of you? It could be for me. Don't be so desperate. And I brought some too. <laughs> oh, are you guys handing out chocolate? Great timing. Oh, let me guess. All the, this whole bag is for me, huh? Here you go, Chia Senpai, for always being so hardworking. Oh, Rize. Toasting the competition. Well, why I see. me? <laughs> because today's for giving out chocolate to the people you like, right? Mmm. It's a great day to say thank you to all those people in your life, not just your romantic partner. Yeah, see? Who needs Thanksgiving? Wow. Putting a new spin on things. <laughs> and yet you're sneering in your sprite. She's so thoughtful. Must be all those years in showbiz. <laughs> Rize hands out chocolate to each person. Oh, there you go, Kanji and Yosuke. You're not going home empty handed after all. I never thought I'd get chocolate from THE Rizette in person. Definitely something to brag about, though. Gotta say. Don't make too much out of it. It's just friendship chocolate. Oh, well, it's better than nothing. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> This chocolate is really good, so I hope you all enjoy it. Ooh, I will. Love chocolate. Well, I have some other people to give chocolate to. Bye! What? You know other people? Since when? I thought we were the only people wow, in our life. Her ability to avoid personal drama is impressive. 
Is it though? Because she was causing some with Marie just yesterday. <laughs> oh, Nato-kun! Nato? What are you uh, on the prowl for, huh? What are you all doing together? You sleuthing for some chocolate? What's that supposed to mean? Today's a huge deal! Ah, uh, I see. Well, if you'll excuse me. Kanji, you better chase after her. <laughs> she never breaks a sweat. Sheesh. Oh well, Kanji. Guess we're spending time with each other today. <laughs> sure, why not? Oh, well, there you go. Kanji's happy. I totally feel like we missed the train here. Hmm. Whoa. Attention, everyone! Okay, damn. I have chocolates here with everyone's names on them. Please take your candy and go home. What is this, like, Battle Royale? We take some chocolate, run away to our houses, and get ready for the fight? Okay... If you can't find yours, come see me later. Oh, okay, Miss Amagi. <laughs> she just wanders off. <laughs> that means you. Uh, okay. Y Yukiko? <laughs> Man, Yukiko's being even bossier than normal. Well... At least we got chocolates with our names on them. I'm gonna go make sure she's okay. Shouldn't I be doing that? It's Valentine's Day. Never mind, I'm just gonna chill with those guys for a little bit. Oh, Ooh. this is chocolate for everyone in it. Take yours and go home. Sheesh, and all that talk about how Yosuke was being desperate asking for chocolate. You had it for him all along. <laughs> there they go. What the hell? Talk about being brushed off. <sighs> well, that's what happens when you're in the friend zone, Yosuke. Well, you don't want yours? I'll take it. No, I'll take it. Thank you. I'm I'm the leader, and I'm going home soon. You guys owe me tribute before I leave. God, you moron! Of course I want it! <laughs> you must go see Yukiko later. Oh, we've, we're off to the beach. Where the snow is non-existent. You came to the shoreline with Yukiko. The cool air feels good. Wow, it looks packed to the brim. I bet you were surprised just now. I acted kind of weird. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you did a little bit, but hey, that's fine. I thought out all these ways to present it to you, and I practiced a big speech. A, a, a big speech? Wow, okay. But everyone was there, and I had such a huge box, and it was hard. Uh-huh. This is for you. It's kind of big, but... Um, yeah, it does look big, and I'm kind of concerned because I'm not holding anything but my pockets. This is a huge box of chocolate. Okay, sure. Thank you. I wanted to make it myself, but everyone else at the end noticed what I was doing. Oh, uh, well, you know. Uh, my present, I, I left it in home ec class. I was making it. It's actually from my shoebox. I'm just re-gifting everything I got <laughs> over the year from home ec and chemistry class. First, they just supported me, but then they all started helping out. Oh, wow. So... It's more like a gift from the entire Amagi Inn, instead of me. I only made a little part of it. Well, actually, you know what? This is even more impressive. It's come from your inn, and you had a had a little part in it. That's, that's good. At least you didn't just slack off and leave other people to do it, right? But I think it tastes good. Oh, okay. Yeah, I should probably get Nanako to taste it first, but she'll probably say it's yummy no matter what. I'm relieved. Yeah, the head chef helped to put it all together, so I'm sure it's yummy. Oh, the head chef's involved? Okay, never mind. Taste test is unnecessary. Though I could have made it myself, too. Well, you know, there's always next year, if we're still together. Will you open it? Not that I should be saying that. Will, will, will we still be together next year? Will you open it? Yes, probably. <laughs> I look like I'm holding a bomb. I'm like, my shoulders are slumped and I'm just nodding carefully at her. The gourmet quality chocolate gives off a wonderful aroma. It has a rich flavor and melts in your mouth. You can't stop eating. Oh my god. I'm craving chocolate right now. You shared the chocolate with Yukiko. <laughs> That's my gift that to you. That was good. Right back the at you. cooks it. sure are impressive. I mean, damn, your, your in is definitely quality. But I wish there was more depth to it. Oh. They stopped me, but I should have gone with my gut and used the squid ink. Thank god that they intervened. The next time then. <laughs> yeah, I think it'll 
add a layer of complexity to the flavor. They are the same color, after all. Yes, of course, because things that have the same color share the same flavor as well. Squid ink. Oh, God. Mm, oh. I can't wait until next year, so I'll try making it next week. Oh, uh, no, no, I think we should wait until next year. Hopefully you would have changed your mind by then. That's why I've given you such a large time horizon. <laughs> the sweat. Mm, I'm so glad I could give it to you. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I couldn't it. sit still. I've been thinking about this day for so long. I didn't know if we'd be able to spend the day together, but at the very least, I wanted to give you the chocolate. Thank you. And let you know how I feel. Oh, oh, oh. But even this huge present isn't enough to express the way I feel. Never is, to be honest. Words usually work, though, and actions. My feelings for you are much, much bigger. Oh, okay. When yeah, I was glowing. making the chocolate with everyone at the inn, I felt like you were with me. As if you were standing right by my side. <laughs> I had a little daydream about that. <laughs> that's that's pretty adorable. I'll be the manager, and you'll be next to me. When a guest comes, we'll welcome them together. They'll say, welcome, together. Oh, geez, she's in that fantasizing phase, you know, where you imagine the future together. Oh, so cute. <laughs> I'm just staring at her blankly. And that's how it'll be. Oh, well. <laughs> no! Oh, God. Welcome to the Amagi Inn! We've been waiting forever and ever. Welcome! <laughs> that might be how they do it at Juness, but that's no way to greet people at an inn. You have to bow gracefully. I bow to no one. But, uh, actually, no, that's fine. I'll learn. You can teach me. No fair. What's up? Now I can't get the sound of you shouting that out of my head. <laughs> well, I have that effect. Whenever I hear someone say that, I'm going to remember you. Oh, great. Now Nanako's probably got me repeatedly shouting, Welcome! in her mind every night. It'll be as if we're saying it together. Oh. Great. Now I'm starting to sweat. Oh, well, I've been sweating ever since you mentioned squid ink. A cold wind is blowing. It should be really cold right now. Come on, this is our chance. Bring it in. But I don't feel any of that. Oh? Hug her, damn it! This is the chance! The only sound you hear is the crashing of the waves. My heart is filled with my love for you. It's so warm. Such a nice romantic setting as well. Damn. And the music? Whew. I feel like I'm going to melt. I'm scared that I'm going to disappear. You're not going to disappear. Don't say that. We'll still be together even after I move out. I love you. I love you too, Yukiko. I love you so much. Right. With all that I am. Ooh, wow. Damn, she's really opened her heart since the beginning of, uh, the game, right? Damn, she's come so far. And look, you don't need Chie's protection. I'm here now. Whew. You can smell the sweet aroma of chocolate. She spent a long time with Yukiko. Wow, and with that, I kinda am interested to see the other Valentine's Day scenes, you know? Because that was quite a treat, to be honest. Sojima Residence, front door. Marie! Hello! What are you holding there? You're late! Uh, for what? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Whatever. You don't have to apologize, it's not your fault. Good, because I had... I didn't mean it. <laughs> I... <laughs> I was saying that to appease you. Whoa. I have chocolate. It's chocolate is not supposed to be alive. You can have it. See now I'm really holding a bomb. Look at look at my stance. It smells. More importantly, it's moving. That room doesn't have any eclectic loutwits. I did the best I could, but I don't know if it turned out any good. Oh. 
Okay. Sorry. Th th it's fine. Not your fault. Don't apologize. I'm not apologizing. You literally just said sorry, but then again, I said sorry and I didn't mean it, so we're even, okay? I, I mean, I just said I was sorry, but that was... Shut up! Never mind! <laughs> <sighs> you can eat it. The Ice Queen. I, I can? If you don't hurry, it'll melt. If it melts, it'll run away. But if it melts in my mouth, it's gonna run away in my mouth, isn't it? <laughs> you have a feeling of danger. But you've already accepted our gift. When you eat it, um, I want you to tell me whether it was good or not. Now. Oh, 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 oh you want me to eat it now? Okay. <sighs> you seem to have no choice but to eat it. It's okay, it can't be worse than whatever we had at the camp, right? Nom. Despite the smell, it tastes quite normal. No, this is... You can't stop eating it. Oh my goodness. You ate it all? That's incredible. Are you stupid? <laughs> no, it just tasted really nice. Well, it, it makes my work worth it. Thank you. You have the unsettling feeling that something is moving within your stomach. Valentine's Day isn't an actual ritual, huh? Uh, I wouldn't call it a ritual. There's no pentagrams or hymns going on. I looked it up. I thought it was some big event. You know, a turning point of your life. Oh, well, well it occurs every year. It's not like you're going to have a turning point in your life every year. I'm so lame. I was fooled. I feel stupid. Hey, you're new to this whole human race thing. You've got a lot to learn, Missy. Ugh. But it's not like that. I, I didn't make that chocolate just because I thought it was something I was supposed to. Then? Uh, no, that, that makes it sound like I'm serious. Uh, well, I am serious, but... Uh, it, you know, just take a deep breath. Focus. Just channel the energy you put into your poems and communicate clearly and effectively. And, and, and you can just shut your stupid jerk face! I've said nothing. I've only just commentated this in my head. Calm down. I am calm. <laughs> I'm just exasperating things. Look, just close your eyes. Close my eyes? Okay. Don't punch me. Shut up and close them. Done. Thank you. Well, I don't really get it. What, you can only confess to me when my eyes are closed? I know you're there in front of me. I won't forget about you. Ever. I'm glad. I won't forget about you too, Marie. <laughs> you spend some time with Marie. Dojima residence, living room. It seems Dojima's away on business and can't come home. Oh, really? On Valentine's Day? Hey, bro, do you know what day it is today? It's Tuesday. <laughs> Whoa. It's Valentine's Day. Ding, ding, ding! You are correct! Oh man, I'm so clever. I should go on those quiz shows that you're always watching. You can come with me. This is my favorite chocolate. Ooh, what is it? I see colors. Nanako gives you some chocolate that is very popular with children. Thank you. It's sweet and yummy! Oh, thank you so much. You didn't have to. Today, my teacher said... What is he doing on that TV screen? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. He still hasn't sold out. Valentine's Day isn't just a day to give out chocolate. It's a day to say thank you to the people you care about. Oh, what? So Riz, I ripped this off. Teacher gave us all chocolate. Everybody, even me. Oh, well, you deserve chocolate the most out of your class, I'm sure, Nanako. And when she gave it to me... She said, it's been tough for you, but you've done very well. You have. You've been a very strong girl this past year, and I'm quite proud of how far you've come. Everyone tells me I'm strong for pulling through. Exactly. That's why I said thank you back. Oh, good on you. And I said that my big bro and my dad are rooting for me, and that's why I can be happy again. Oh, bless. I'm always going to root for you, Nanako, and same with your dad. I'm proud of you. <laughs> really? 
I am. You're an amazing little sis. And then my teacher was so happy. And then she said, when someone's cheering you on, even when you're in trouble, you feel energized. Do you feel like that when I cheer you on? Hell yeah. Yes. Me too. When you root for me, I get so happy. We're the same. It's almost like we're family, Nanako. Me, my dad, and your friends are all on your side. I know. I'm a very fortunate boy. Not like a certain detective. Even if you go back soon, I hope you're happy. Oh man, it's gonna be one of those, uh, don't cry because it's over, be happy because it happened. Oh dear, I'm not ready to say goodbye! I had one more chocolate! I made it myself! You made some chocolate? There's no squid ink in it, is there? Whoa! Alright. Strange object sits on the plate. Damn. By some miracle, it has no smell at all. The big girls taught me how to make homemade chocolate creations. I see. Well... That's why I made one for you. Thank you. So much. Just who taught her how to cook? Your instincts, honed after a year of battle, are ringing warning bells in your mind. <laughs> a year of battle with food. I feel like this has been a terrible year for my culinary, like, tastes. She said I should mix in iced coffee to add flavor. Oh, okay. So this is some sort of tiramisu, is it? Oh, and bacon. Since everyone likes bacon. Right. Luckily, there was some bacon and iced coffee in the fridge. And it came from the fridge, which is full of alien -y things every now and then. Okay. All right. Jeez. Risei-chan said that the chocolate should assert itself. So it needs to be either really sweet or really spicy. Spicy? Spicy fucking chocolate. Are you serious, Rize? Jesus Christ. I feel like I'm back in 2012 when Epic Mealtime was a thing. You're a grown-up, big bro. So I thought you'd appreciate a bitter taste. So I put bell peppers and wheatgrass juice in it. Oh, God. I think that sour chocolate sounds really assertive. So I added vinegar and ponzu sauce, too. You didn't commit to one thing, Nanako? Rather than, you know... Spread yourself thin with all these rich flavors? Yukiko said that my chocolate would have depth if I added fish. Right, well it's as deep as a freaking puddle. So I added some fish sausage and some of Dad's fermented squid. Squid. It's made an appearance. <sighs> One whole year early. Oh. <laughs> and now told me she'd let me borrow a recipe book. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've just followed that instead, right? And when I told her I was already done, she told me that you'd enjoy anything that I made for you. Did she have an evil cackle when she said that? Oh, man. Nanako looks at you expectantly. I have to try this, don't I? Um, big bro, thank you. I love you. I love you too, Nanako. Where's the spoon? You have no options. It's... <laughs> Big okay. bro? Oh no. Sawako, Sawako, wake up. Sawako! What's wrong, Big bro? Oh dear, you can hear Nanako's voice from far away. Is this my return to the Velvet Room, perchance? <laughs> nope, I'm just gonna wake up tomorrow. After getting some rest, you managed to recover your health. A soft light is pouring in from outside. Is this heaven? You should hurry to school. Oh, can't I call in sick? Hello. Good morning. Yeah, it's, it's an alright morning. I, I'm alive. The weather's great today. It's even a little warm, don't you think? Mm. 
I saw in the news that the first official spring storm was observed this morning. Spring is just around the corner, huh? Hmm. Spring, huh? Everything went by so fast. Don't have to What's remind up? me. Hey, everybody. What's going on? <clears throat> oh, nothing. We're just talking about how spring's almost here. Then, Sokun will... Hmm. Oh, yeah. I try not to think about it. But hey, we still have some time, right? No gloomy, gloomy faces until then. Let's have fun. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna pack your brain so full of good memories that you'll beg us to stop. Oh, shoot. Well, let's go. Let's go, man. Oh, hey, wait for me! Let's go. Oh, the music. Zoom out. Is this truly it? Oh no, we're zooming forward! Oh gosh. The 26th of February, 3rd of March. Oh. All these new memories. 13th. Oh, this is so touching. 14th. Photos. Teddy's there. Oh, look at us. Holy shit. Beautiful. Damn. Kanji is tall. Unless he's standing on something. <laughs> 19th. Oh, I'm all packed up. Oh, God. Well, you finished packing. You'll be returning to the city in two days. You decide to rest for today. Sheesh. It all went by so fast. 20th. Looks like we're on holiday. Ooh, town's full of people. No snow. Spring has once again come to Inaba. Aaron boy's there. My scooter. Am I taking my scooter with me? Dojima residence. Tomorrow is finally the day you will part with everyone. And this time, everything is all good. There's no fog, we've solved the mystery. <sighs> all done packing? Well, if you forget anything, I'll mail it to you. No, well, I'll come back and pick it up, actually. Give me an excuse to come visit you guys. Who's that? Can I go answer the door? Oh, Nanako sounds a bit somber now. Oh, yeah. That's right. Sure. Go answer it. There's nothing to worry about anymore. If it's Namatame, I'll punch him in the face. <laughs> Seeing her so cheerful like that, nothing makes me happier. Me either. I already bought your train ticket for tomorrow. It leaves at 9 o'clock in the morning from Yasuina bus station. I fucking hate goodbyes. I seriously... I'm terrible with goodbyes, especially after spending, like, even a vacation at my family's place in the Philippines, even for like two, three weeks, it's always so hard saying goodbye, and the trip to the airport, you're looking out the window and you're just seeing things, and life will go on as you fly back to your hometown. And, oh. Today's your last day here. Don't worry about Nanako. You can leave her to me. Go see your friends. This might be your last chance to talk to them. God, don't say it like that. You make it sound like I'm never going to speak with them ever again. This is the last day you'll be spending in this town. You should wander around for a while. Who was it? Are you going out? Be careful! Yeah, I will. No worry. Nothing to be afraid of now. What'd you get? Looks like we're going around town to say our goodbyes. Ooh, I might have to save this for the next one, though. I'm not ready to do it just yet. And you know what? I feel like we should probably visit the Valentine's Day event 
for the guys because I think there is one and I'm quite curious to see how that all plays out, especially after our ski trip. Thank you. 